In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a triangle read or triangle passing concept out of the tight slots halfback week formation in the Colts offensive playbook. Now, I just released my full tight slots halfback week offensive ebook in my Patreon. If you guys are not Patreon members yet, really encourage you to consider doing that. It's only $10 a month to get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. And you get access to all the updates to that as well. And again, we just dropped the tight slots halfback week ebook this week. So make sure that you are uh, in the membership for that. Link is in the description. Let's talk about this triangle read concept that I really like out of tight slots. Um, and we're going to be utilizing the play mesh spot. And you can actually create this from any play in the formation um, because we're going to primarily do this with hot routes. Okay, we're going to primarily do this with hot routes. Uh, but basically mesh spot. Now, generally speaking, it is best to be audibling into um, gun tight from bunch. The reason being because it's going to help you with quick hiking. It's going to make it harder for the defense to adjust. You actually get a little bit better uh, pacing with your hot route. So just know that oftentimes this play is going be audible into so we're going to teach it uh, just like that today mesh spot is the play that we're going to be going over and uh, let's get on the field so the triangle read what is the triangle read a triangle read essentially is a concept that's essentially trying to create a triangle in different parts of the field to make it more difficult for the user to be able to user more than one or two routes um, that's kind of the idea we're trying to essentially create routes that are going to space the field well that attack both zone and man but also are difficult to be user and this is one of those one of those concepts so audible over here into mesh spot the setup for this is actually fairly simple we are going to flat route this left side receiver we are going to slant our slot receiver and we're going to uh, out route our tight end so you see this is what the play art looks like now this post route to CD Lamb, if you have Hot Route Master or Slot Apprentice, I actually would recommend go ahead and put him on a Hot Route Master post. You can leave it on what he's on, but I actually think the, the Slot Apprentice post is better because it's going to do a little bit better job of creating a sharp cut against man-to-man, -man, which is obviously the main way people are playing defense still. Our first read on this is this tight end quick out. If you have short and elite on that player, a lot of times he is going to get really good uh, separation against man-to-man -man coverage. So you want to be looking to that read uh, first. This is going to force the opponent to have to either put a zone out there or shade a certain way. There's going to have to be some kind of adjustment on that tight end out route, especially against man-to-man. That will also buy us some time potentially against pressure. So what you're going to see now is this route to this sharp cutting post right over the middle of the field is going to be really effective because what the user is going to basically have to decide is am I going to go guard the slant or am I going to go guard the post route? Now, this is also pieced with this really good wheel route from mesh spot, which is actually slightly different than the, the seam wheel. Uh, that you can actually hot route. What you'll notice about this specific wheel route is against man coverage, you can high point and free form it up and over the top of man coverage and give your running back a chance. If it is one-on-one, -on -one, oftentimes this is going to burn man coverage unless they have a deep route knockout. So even if they're running a defense like this, for example, to try to protect down the sideline on the, on the right side, with this play, the beauty of this is that this this slant route, or I apologize, this wheel route can actually get over the top. You'll see here, here's my backup running back, Marshawn Lynch. Same kind of thing. I just get that over the shoulder catch animation. And again, if they have deep route knockout, that's one thing. But if they don't have deep route knockout, that's a really key option uh, for you against man. Now, another option against man, so now they have to drop a deep zone on the left side, or they have to, you know, again, adjust their coverage a little bit to that. So they have to have a flat on the right. They have to have a deep zone on the left to take away the wheel route. Now we are able to work the middle of the field with the user. So if the user decides, I'm going to go guard that post route, then you can throw this slant route over on this side of the, of the, of the field. So this is also a really good concept against zone coverage. Triangle concepts are really good against man, uh, and they're oftentimes actually really good against zone coverage because they just space the field really well. 
What you're going to see if it is zone coverage, this running back seam will highball it once he kind of gets into the seam area. You see there that can be a nice little play for you because what this does is let's say that your opponent is playing a double Mabel meta style of zone coverage. If people are playing zone coverage in Madden 23, chances are they're probably doing something like this. They're probably playing some kind of double Mabel coverage. What you'll see with this seam wheel is when that happens, that flat's still going to pull the flats outside, and then this seam wheel becomes and gets into a really soft spot against the coverage. So this means that in zone coverage, specifically if it's double Mabel, the user now has to go guard the running back in that left side seam. What this does, and this is what makes triangle concepts, in my opinion, so effective against both man and zone, is you're going to see now this slant route is going to come into this little pocket right here because the tight end is pulling the flats out and you're able to beat uh, zone coverage that way as well. So now, again, we kind of work back into what, how do they adjust to this from a man or zone look. And really the best way is to take one of their linebackers and cross man him on the running back. And now they're going to be in the middle of the field. If they choose to take the slant route, uh, which I'll show you that real quick. If they choose to take the slant route, it becomes basically, again, this little basic read over the middle where the user has to choose. Am I going to guard the slant? Or am I going to guard the post? And that's basically what we've done, even in a drop eight coverage. So you see here, he chooses to guard the slant. We throw the post. And you see that this is how a triangle concept is super effective against both man and zone coverages. Now, triangle concepts are also really effective against match coverages. And match coverage, to a degree, it's a little bit oversimplified, but to a degree, is basically a more delayed version of man coverage that does have some zone principles. But what you'll notice here is, again, if you watch this running back route, look who's wide open. The seam wheel with that ag. What I like to do to throw that seam wheel so that it doesn't get intercepted is I like to highball it, and I'm going to click on, and I'm going to ag that uh, consistently against man-to-man. -man. So now we're in that same basic scenario where they're going to have to put this guy in coverage on this guy. And then they're going to have to basically with their user, whoever that is, they're going to have to choose how they're going to defend the rest of the concept. And if you watch this play, this slant route, we're going to get almost exactly identical. You're going to see here. Now you see that route is open in the middle of the field. So this is how you run the triangle read concept out of the tight slots out of the play mesh post. If you guys want to learn more about the tight slots offense, make sure that you join our Patreon. That's where you'll get access to my full tight slots offensive ebook we've got over 25 different offenses and defenses in the patreon so make sure that you sign up today the link is down in the description below